mechanical designer please subscribe this channel for mechanical design related tech related job related and career progress related videos so let's go to the topic here so guys today we are going to learn how to make holes and give threads and how to give any part body color in solid edge software here you can see that we are using solid edge 2020 so to make uh, first we have to go to the new option then go to the new then we are just selecting nc metric and go to the nc part section here so you can see that here the first uh, uh, interface has been come now i prefer to do modeling on the solid edge uh, uh, ordered section so if you are comfortable with solid edge synchronous section you can do it but i am uh, i mainly prefer for to do modeling in solid edge order section so here are the i just <coughs> make the uh, visible to all the planes here then i am just making one sketch here so go to the sketch option and select one plane so here i am just making one rectangle here that is the here i can see the center rectangle here and so i am just here <coughs> doing the rectangle here so i am just giving it the dimension i am just random giving then random dimension here okay then go to the close sketch option and i am just going to exclude it <coughs> i'm just what is the sketch i think this is the sketch i am just uh, make the exclude option and give the thickness is equal to 100 mm so you can see that i have just made a block here then if we just uh, how know how to know the how to uh, make the hole here here you can see the hole option so hole first i am just going to show you the hole options then i go to for the uh, thread option then uh, we will go for the uh, slot option okay so um, first for the hole option click here for the hole then just first here you can see that the hole tab then here when you click this option the drop down menu have been open where you can make such type of holes that is the simple hole that is the threaded hole that is the counter board hole that is the counter sink hole and this is the tapered hole okay so first i am going to make the normal hole simple hole so click here the simple hole then go for the nc metric just uh, for maker in mechanical we are generally using the mm the metric system the measuring unit system then for go for the drill size double size general screw clearance so i am just making that the drill then i am just giving the dimension that is the eight so it became the m8 of um, hole exactly then i am the fit is the exact fit i just don't give the in type of tolerance here okay mm, so uh, after uh, doing here we just come to here there are the four options that is the through hole that will be the hole will be through and through then that is the through next what is means the through next through next means um if we make hole from one phase to the nearest uh, nearest phase then we can use the through next option if we from to extent we can select where from we are just want to start the hole the higher it will be uh, end so that um, the from uh, to extent option will be um, used that type after that we have used the finite extent when we select the finite extent that we they it gives us um, allow us to give the uh, dimensions here so i am just giving the 50 uh, the 30 mm dimension so that means that the height of the diamond height of the hole 
will be 30 if we select the b bottom angle then automatically the um, in portion of the hole became this angle and you can select the two types of uh, dimension that is the you can customize it okay so that not a big issue after that you can go for the thread option okay uh, if as it is the normal you can just making the plain hole okay so that is the threaded hole and it is the normal plain hole so if we select here the chamfer there the chamfer has been created at the uh, face the front face of the hole so here we automatically it gives the 0 0.6 i became make the 1 mm 45 then click here the ok option after giving the ok here we have to select in which plane the uh, hole will be created so i have select this plane then automatically the performa of the um, hole uh, section has been come i just have to place it here okay i just place it here then go for the close sketch option and after that click here finish you can see when i zoom you can see that the hole has been created here okay after that we are going to the another option of the hole then if we go for the hole option here then the next part is the threaded hole here for the threaded hole you have to give the specifications of the thread i'm just giving the asymmetric thread that is the metric thread i'm giving the m10 hole here and the thread is which type of thread is we are just going to that is the standard thread straight pipe thread or taper pipe thread i am just giving the standard thread generally it is used i am just selecting the finite extent and the giving the depth is 30 mm i'm just giving the bottom angle here and when i just go for this portion threaded options that is the trap deal when you give that tab select the tab drill then the uh, threaded uh, portion d what is the d the inner portion of the d became 8.5 when you select the internal minor diameter d that is the this d that became 8.37 and with the nominal diameter d is equal to d1 that is the um, uh, overall and that is the od of the thread portion that is the 10 m10 for which i am selecting the m10 so here you can see this part what you want to show you have to select from here and just select this part also that the 50 mm and after that i select the chamfer option when you give the chamfer option and just click here the ok the thread depth must be less than equal to the whole depth ok 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 this became the 20 as i am giving the 30 mm depth so it should be 20 <coughs> chamfer option must be greater than the 0 ok ok chamfer offset chamfer offset ok ok i have to give this chamfer offset 2 millimeter okay must be greater than zero angle okay okay that uh, should be the 45 degree then i have to select this plane and just placing the whole position then go for the close section option and you can see that the hole has been created if you want to look one minute one minute if you want to uh, view this thread option in a um, uh, physical property then select this you can see that the physical type of thread has been created here this is the another type of thread okay after that we are going to the another option of the hole then go for the this option you can see that the counter board okay when you can see the, the counter automatically all options has come you can know of that i am just not doing explaining all these things here i'm just giving the dimensions here and all are the previous type 
for this type you i just select the thread option they are giving thread and m10 you can see the dimensions here okay after the dimensions you can see that these uh, dimensions you can edit all these dimensions from here okay according to your customization you can change all of these after select the start chamfer neck chamfer whatever you have uh, want to do there after that click okay the depth must be sorry i again so now click on the ok option and select this plane and automatically the thread has been calm and we have just make the finish you can see that the counter sink hole has been created here so i am just uh, seeing you the three types of hole after that i am just giving one extra hole that is no, this is the uh, counter board already mentioned that is the counter sink same as counter board you can do that after that the tapper hole i for the tapper hole select this the asymmetry gives uh, this type of this type of things and uh, just v bottom chamfer here you can uh, you cannot do any type of threads here so you can don't have the option for the thread then select this part and go for the close sketch and you can see that the taper type of hole has been created here for the view of the section view we can go for this view option go for set plane for you can set this plane also after that I have just created this plane and you can see this is the section view okay finish for the finish oh I want to see want to make the undo undo option oh sorry in this way you can do the whole in this part you can uh, do the hole in this part and if you just turn off that turn on section plane off that's the no issue okay now i am just uh, going to make another thing that is the how to give thread on a shaft so i am just opening the solid edge 2020 again please wait it takes some minutes i'm just opening here go for the corner portion i am just making one shaft here okay what is the shaft this is the shaft this is the shaft i am making one shaft here okay finish if you want to make two type of holes here i'm just making one hole here you can make this type of holes here okay now you are going to make the thread here so go for the hole option go for the thread option here the metric thread you have to select then go for the okay here you can you automatically they create thread here according to your od and id okay so if you make the uh, you can uh, select what type of um thread you want to do so from here you can select this so after giving ok option you have to select the od and after selecting the od you have to give the offset from where the thread has been started i give one millimeter 
the diameter selected cylinder does not have a corresponding any metric database standard please select a database or to search okay okay okay, okay. i understand I have to give, uh, give a uh, proper dimension for this it became uh, problematic I give that 10 millimeter okay after giving the 10 millimeter and I have just giving its uh, reducing this dia is 5 millimeter then you can see that the shaft has been done after this i can give the whole thread option click ok select this part for options ok when you select this you can see that the option i give one millimeter and you can see that throughout the shaft the thread has been created up to visible the physical type of thread click here you can see that after giving uh, this view it should uh, seen but for the um, uh, <coughs> huge file or the or the the mb reasons they are showing this type of thread physical thread i'm just selecting the physical thread they are just doing on that after that you can the finish when you finish one minute you when you finish you can see that the physical thread has been created here okay you can see that the physical thread has been created here. after that you have to give the internal thread then you have to select the whole option then for the thread option then go for the asymmetric option click here ok after that you have to select this and thread option ok select this ok give the offset dimension 1 millimeter you can see that internally thread has been done after that he select the this when you give the thread just select for the viewer reason they cannot give the physical thread here so you can see that in this way the physical the outer thread inner thread has been giving in the solid software to give color the main thing so you have for the coloration you have to go to the view option then go for the part painter select the face if you want to make uh, give color any type of face then for the face then go for the black option select this face the face has been became the black then go for the uh, whatever color red option give this face all became red option so you can see that in this way we can give also the color option so today in this video we are just giving the brief idea how to give the threads making holes and give the color in any type of part option so you can see that we have just given the part please subscribe our channel please like our facebook page the disc in the description we are giving all type of links of our social media handle please subscribe our channel please comment what type of videos are you needed from us so thank you all